what the black man and woman needs to know about the nation, about the world, about themselves. Mohammed Speaks It. To order your 12-issue subscription to Mohammed Speaks newspaper, 313-371-7033. 313-371-7033. Green Bean Pie is the grand champion of all bean pies. The rich flavor and smooth texture takes this pie to a whole new level of delicious. One bite and you'll understand why people all over the country call daily to order Green Bean Pie. 313-371-7033. That's 313-371-7033. Green Bean Pie. Muhammad Speaks presents Messenger Elijah Muhammad's Teachings by Minister Khalil Shabazz every Sunday from 2 to 3 p.m. at Muhammad's Temple of Islam, 12609 East McNichols Road in Detroit. Brothers and sisters, Rosifer. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, all praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the Beneficent, the Merciful. So, Master's Day of Judgment in which we now live, the alone do we serve and the alone seek for thine help and aid. O Allah, please guide us on the right path, the path of those upon whom thou hast spilled thy favors, not on the path of those upon whom thy wrath is brought down, nor those who go astray have they heard thy teachings. Say he Allah is one God, Allah is he of whom nothing is independent, but upon whom we all depend. He beget us not, nor is he begotten, there is none like him. And I bear witness that none is heard to be served worse to praise besides Allah, who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad. And I bear witness that the honor of Elijah Muhammad is thy true servant and last apostle. I mean, we'd like to acknowledge the brothers and sisters that extended us the greetings of Assalamu As alaikum. We have Brother Muta Kabir Ali from New Jersey. We have Minister Al Mutaquan Ali from Philly. We have Brother Carnell Muhammad from Ohio. We have Brother Mustafa and Sister Sharice Ali from Ohio. We have Brother Hanif Al Ghani from Atlanta. We have Brother Kareem Allah, Brother Shaheed Mumin, and Brother Muhammad Abdul Rashid from Florida. I'd like to say, in the name of Allah, who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad, and in the name of his last and greatest messenger, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. I'd like to greet the brothers and sisters with the Nation of Islam's greeting words of peace of Assalamu alaikum. Today, we like to talk about Malcolm X got exactly what he deserved. Yes, That's sir. what we're going to talk about today. All right. Because uh, Netflix, the one thing I can say about the disbelievers is that they continuously come out with most stuff about Malcolm. They real persistent about Malcolm making it seem like he was the victim and always make the messenger seem like he was the bad guy. So now they got another documentary on Netflix. It's called Blood Brothers, Malcolm X and Muhammad Ali. Okay. <laughs> and in this one, they try to make it seem like, because Muhammad Ali, I think it was in 2000 something, 2012 or something, he was talking about how he regretted turning against Malcolm. He said that's one of the things that he regretted, that he turned against Malcolm and he sided with the message. So now they got this, these documentaries making it to seem like, you know, he was caught between, it, it was because the messenger made him choose the messenger and be hard on mouth. Now we want to talk about the message because the messenger warned us about, he has an article in the October 28th, 1966, Muhammad Speaks. And it's called Self-Defense for the Negro. And at the top, the messenger got fighting in the cause of Allah with those who fight you. Then the messenger got the uh, Holy Quran verses that talk about fight. Then he says, we Muslims may have to learn it the hard way. He says, you like to be soft and kind to the hypocrites, thinking that they are likewise, but you could be deceived. 
He says, fight anyone who fights you. All praise is due to Allah. He says, this is the law of nature. Be not a coward. This was the message. Now, this article was written in 1966. And he said Muslims like to be soft with the hypocrites. Now, think about all the Muslims did to Malcolm X. And the messenger seal said Muslims like to be soft and kind to hypocrites. Because he used to encourage Muslims. Go hard against hypocrites and, di and disbelievers. That's right. Fight with those who fight with you. Yes, sir. So we got in this generation, the disbelievers continue to come out with more and more stuff about Malcolm. Mm -hmm. But where the Muslims? Where the Muslim response? Yes, sir. Where the Muslims taking up for the messenger telling the lost found Malcolm was a hypocrite? Right, right here, brother. The law praise is due to Allah. <laughs> because the messenger said that Malcolm X is an example. For all those who make mockery of Allah, his messenger, and his messages. Yes, That's what he said. Whenever he was wrote an article on hypocrites, and he talked about Malcolm, he said Malcolm is an example. He never said we had nothing to do with the death of Malcolm X. He never said that. In this rare interview of messenger Elijah Muhammad. He said Allah had a hand in his death. That's right. He always talked hard against Malcolm X. Yes, he said Malcolm is the worst hypocrite I ever seen. Mm -hmm. That's what he said about Malcolm. Yes. And he said he's an example for all of those who make a mockery of Allah, his messenger, and his message. Yes, and he encouraged Muslims to strive hard against the hypocrite and the disbeliever. Yes. But in the new school stuff, mm -hmm. we done got soft. The whole nation of Islam that got soft. Yes, sir. This is the cream puff nation of Islam. Yes, sir. To keep it real, that's just what it is. Right. The cream puff nation of Islam. Yes, right. We believe now we got to explain to the lost family. We ain't had nothing at all to do like we would never nothing at all to do with Malcolm X. All that fighting them brothers was doing, that was them. They made a mistake. We here to correct the wrong. Brother Malcolm was a good minister for the message. He was a good man. He was one of the best. That's what, they say. That's what the cream puff nation of Islam say. But the messengers say you like to go soft with the hypocrites. So let's look at Malcolm after or the messenger after Malcolm. Because a lot of this history that we get about Malcolm X is edited history. Mm -hmm. It's what they want you to believe about Malcolm. Right. It's not really the history of him. The history of how people thought about him. So let's start with this debate. It says Malcolm X debate with James Farmer, June 12, 1963. James Farmer was a part of the civil rights movement. He was the leader of CORE, which is the Congress of Racial Equality. He debated Malcolm in 1963. And in 1992, when uh, the Malcolm X movie came out, they interviewed James Farmer in the Chicago Tribune, November 22nd, 1992. This is what he said about Malcolm. He said, as long as Malcolm attacked the sins of the white man against blacks, he was on solid ground. You couldn't argue with him on that without appearing to be either an Uncle Tom or a fool. He says, but Malcolm was weak when he had to provide a solution or a program. He didn't have much to rely on except the teachings of his mentor, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes, sir. Hey, do to Allah. Yes, sir. This is James Farm. Mm -hmm. He saw Malcolm X. Yes, sir. He debated Malcolm X. Mm -hmm. He said Malcolm X was good as long as he was talking about the sins of the white man. Yes, he was good. Right. 
We couldn't say nothing against that. Mm -hmm. But when we asked him, what's the solution to the problem of the black man? Say he didn't have nothing to rely on, but the teachings of his mentor. Right. And then James Foreman didn't just say Elijah Muhammad. He said the honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes, That's how all the people addressed the messenger even after his death. Yes, right. That's how they talked about Stokely Carmichael, the honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes, Huey P. Newton, the honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes, even non-Muslims. Mm -hmm. Because the messenger, he taught Muslims, strive hard against hypocrites and disbelievers. Yes. That's what Muslims used to do. Yes, sir. So the people who sympathized with the messenger got on board with the Muslims. Mm -hmm. Called the messenger the honorable Elijah Muhammad. Right. Because you was either a sympathizer or you was a disbeliever and a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. You had Muslims. You had sympathizers. You had hypocrites and disbelievers. Yes. All black people fell in that category. Mm -hmm. And when you was a sympathizer with the messenger. You had to sympathize the right way. Yes, sir. You just couldn't be any old kind of sympath. You had to be the kind of sympathizer to let the black man know. He the best leader for the black man. Yes, sir. That was a sympathize. Mm -hmm. You weren't sympathizing with the messenger if you thought you had something to say to. You weren't sympathizing. Mm -hmm. You was getting beat on by the messenger. Right. If you thought that you was a leader too. When you sympathize with the messenger. You let the black man know he got the solution yes, to the black man's problem. Right. So let's go on even further than that. Let's go to the March 13th, 1964. This is the Latrobe Bulletin. This says Rif Rifle Club's proposal shocks rights leaders. When Malcolm X was talking about getting a rifle club, to go down there and fight the white man. The civil rights leaders disagreed with that. But in today's history, they make you think that Malcolm, when he went down there apologizing to them leaders, they was trying to get on board with him because he was the one who changed their attitudes about being black, about black power and black pride. It was Malcolm. But they wasn't feeling what he was talking about when you look at the documented history on Malcolm. To them civil rights leaders, Malcolm was talking crazy. Mm -hmm. Talking about getting rifle clubs to fight the white man. So the documentary history shows that the civil rights leaders was against him. Then we have another article. This article comes from the, ninth, the March 15, 1964, Democratic and Chronicle. It says, Martin Luther King blasts Malcolm X call to arms. Malcolm, Martin Luther King wasn't feeling that. Even though he said in the article, he would like to sit down and talk to Malcolm X about their differences. But he said each man, man was not going to convert the other. Letting it be, I'm not feeling nothing this man talking about. Yes, talking about getting rifle clubs to fight the white man. Then in this article, what's shocking is at the bottom of the article, it says Malcolm told reporters Thursday that his new title would be Brother Malcolm and that jealousy of his national uh, reputation within the Muslim movement was the real reason for his oust. So it was Malcolm who told people to start calling him Brother Malcolm. Mm -hmm. So when you hear Lewis and all of his people say Brother Malcolm, they sign with Malcolm X. That's right. They signed with a hypocrite right. who changed his name because he said it was jealousy. Mm -hmm. The messenger and the Muslims was jealous of me. So I don't want to be called Malcolm X. I want to be called Brother Malcolm. So all this Brother Malcolm talk with these cream puff Muslims yes, is something that Malcolm told them. He thought the messenger was jealous of him. He thought them brothers was jealous. So I don't want to be called Malcolm. Call me Brother Malcolm. Mm -hmm. Now let's go to the message. Because when Malcolm went down there apologizing to them civil rights leaders, the messenger didn't change. And this shows what kind of hypocrite Malcolm was. Malcolm used to call Martin Luther King 
uh, Roy Wilkins, all them civil rights leaders, Uncle Tom. Then as a hypocrite, he go down there and say, I'm sorry for what I said. Shows he didn't mean nothing he was saying. That's right. He was only saying that because he wanted to be the big shot national representative for the message. Mm -hmm. So he called them Uncle Toms. Because if he really believed they was an Uncle Tom, they was an Uncle Tom whether he was with the messenger or not. Right. Right. They plans was going to fail whether he was with the messenger or not. Right. But he was a hypocrite. Right. Yeah. A hypocrite means one who believes, then disbelieves. Yeah, right. He believed in the messenger. He told all black people he's the messenger of God. Yeah. Then he turned around and disbelieved. Yeah. Start telling people the messenger was jealous of him. Mm -hmm. Start telling people that the messenger had teenage secretaries. Mm -hmm. That's enough to get your head bust right. yeah. in the nation of Islam. Praise to Allah. We got to keep it real. We can't talk like the cream puff nation of Islam. Telling if you are a Muslim, you used to say you believed in the message. You go out saying he had teenage trying to say he's some immoral man. That's enough to get your head bust in the nation of Islam. That's how Muslims supposed to feel. That's how Muslims felt then. And I say, if anybody think I'm lying, all the Muhammad Speaks newspapers is online. Yes. All the white man's newspapers is online. Mm -hmm. Go listen to what they were saying. Mm -hmm. If you can show us this, the messenger said, leave Malcolm alone stuff. Send it to the Muhammad Speaks website. Mm -hmm. Anybody. Yes, sir. If you can find some articles in the Muhammad Speaks newspaper or in the white man's newspaper. What a messenger or Muslims said, leave Malcolm alone. Send it to the Muhammad Speaks website. When you go read articles from the Muhammad Speaks website and the white man's website, Muslims was on Malcolm's heels. Right. Yes. That's the facts. Yes, sir. Malcolm went to L.A., Los Angeles, to mud watch the message. Muslims were waiting on him at the airport. Documented facts. Yes, sir. The, the airport security had to hide him. Because when you read about the real FOI, not this cream puff stuff, yes, the police couldn't even save him. Mm -hmm. Them the facts. Right. You read many articles around the country. Muslims caught people who was with Malcolm. Because mm -hmm. it wasn't just if you were saying something against the message. If you sympathizing with him, mm -hmm. and we see you with Malcolm, it's documented facts. Yeah. People who sympathize with him, sympathize with his talk, yes, sir. they was enemies too. That's, yes. Right. Yes. That's just the facts. That's, right. That's what you read when you read these Muhammad Speaks newspapers. Because yes. after Muslims would catch these people who was with Malcolm, Muslims would write articles praising them brothers. Talking about Muhammad's army. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like the cream puff stuff. Right. Well, we got to explain to the lost found. We had, no, I hate to hear Muslims talk about that. I wish we just didn't say nothing. Say, I don't want to talk about that. I hate to hear a Muslim say the nation of Islam had nothing to do with the death of this hypocrite. When the messenger said death is too good for Malcolm X. Yeah. That's what the messenger said. Yeah. He said he lucky he didn't live in the time of Moses. Yes, Three what Moses and them was doing the hypocrites. <laughs> then the national representative said his tongue should be cut out mm -hmm. and sent to the doorstep of the message. Right. They had his head rolled. How much? Well, what else they got to say? Right. Yes, sir. What else they? If you was now today mm -hmm. and a person did something, you did all that the Muslims did. What would you think they going to think? But I'm not saying that the messenger killed Malcolm X. Yes, I'm not saying that. No, but I'm not saying that they didn't roll out the red car. <laughs> I'm not saying that either. Because the messenger said Allah had a hand in his death. Yes, sir. It was Allah. Yes, sir. We just saying what the messenger said. That's right. He yes, said my followers don't carry weapons. That's, right. That's what he said. Yes, so we ain't going to say the messenger had him killed. Mm -hmm. But the messenger also said. 
Malcolm X is an example right. for all those who make a mockery of Allah, his messenger, and his message. Yes, sir. He also said that. Yes, sir. So in the cream puff nation of Islam, mm -hmm. say what you want to say. That's right. But after this cream puff stuff is over, we got to get back to the old stuff. That's right. Baby to Allah. That's right. We got to get back to the old stuff. That's right. Ain't no more explaining nothing to these lost files about this hypocrite. Yes, he got what he deserved. That's right. Baby to Allah. He was a hypocrite. Right. All hypocrites should get what Malcolm got. That's, right. That's what a Muslim should say. That's right. What's wrong with that? Mm -hmm. The messenger said the Muslims going soft mm -hmm. on the hypocrites. Mm -hmm. So let's go further with the message. When Malcolm X starts sympathizing with them civil rights leaders, you had on the front page of the Muhammad Speaks the messenger still beating on these civil rights leaders. Mm -hmm. Still beating on them. He got Martin Luther King on the front page of the Muhammad Speaks newspaper. It says the Reverend Martin Luther King. Then at the bottom of the picture, the messenger got the names of all the civil rights leaders. He got Ralph Bunch, Roy Wilkins, James Farmer, some brother named Barry, and then he got preachers. He got black and white together. This the message. But Malcolm the hypocrite went down there to apologize. The message didn't, didn't change a word for none of them civil rights leaders. And the thing that I like about the message, you was going to change before he changed. That was the message. You was going to change before he changed. He wasn't apologizing to you about nothing he said. You was going to change before he changed. Yes, sir. So the messenger, he got Roy Wilkins down here. They used to beat up on Roy Wilkins. Yes, then you got Roy Wilkins in the article saying black Muslims had hands. Mm -hmm. That's how the messenger got down. Mm -hmm. do to Allah. You was going to change before he was going to change. He was going to take the truth and beat on you. Yes, sir. This all my black brother stuff is the cream puff. Mm -hmm. This the cream puff stuff. Mm -hmm. This all my black brother. Oh, we going to just all oh, no. Not the message. Mm -hmm. He'll put your name on the front page of the paper. Yes, sir. That's why James Farmer said the honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yeah. The messenger was going to show you I'm the messenger of God right. to you all. Right. I'm not a messenger just to the Muslim. I'm a messenger to James Farr. Mm -hmm. I'm a messenger to Roy Wilkins, yes. UEP, all up. Right. So they all talked about the messenger as the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes, so we can go on even further than that. We want to look at Dr. King and his people. This is a picture of Martin Luther King, Stokely Carmichael, and a brother named Floyd McKenzie. Because after James Farmer, Floyd McKenzie became the leader of CORE. Mm -hmm. Stokely Carmichael was the leader of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, and Martin Luther King was the leader of the SCLC. The messenger used to beat on them. He got them all on the front page. He talking about voting. That's what Stokely Carmichael and them used to do. Mm -hmm. These voting drives. Mm -hmm. uh, Floyd McKenzie used to be with. So the messenger beat no. Because there wasn't no such thing as the old my black brother stuff. The messenger was going to beat you into submission. Mm -hmm. So then we have. This is uh, June 28, 1966. The evening sun. It says black Muslims to speak at core convention. Now, Malcolm was the one apologizing to the civil rights leaders. I'm sorry for calling you Uncle Tom. The messenger still beating on them. Yes, sir. Beating on them and beating on them and beat. They reject Malcolm. Mm -hmm. But it say black Muslims to speak mm -hmm. at core convention. Mm -hmm. They seeking out the message. They ask, can you ask 
somebody come to our national convention to speak. Yes, sir. That's how the messenger got down. Yes, sir. Praise yes, the Lord. Yes, you was going to change before he was going to change. He wasn't talking to all my black brother stuff. Mm -hmm. He taught us. This is one thing that you find out about Muslims. Muslims was the best brother you ever find anywhere on the earth. Yes. A Muslim. Muslim brotherhood was the tightest brotherhood you ever gonna see. That's right. But a Muslim was the worst enemy you could ever have. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it. I love reading the old history. Muslims was brothers to brother. They'll go out in the mud and come get you and offer you to come to the temple. Yes, sir. That's right. In the mud. Right. In the prison. Yes, sir. Anywhere the black man was, a Muslim was going to get him. Yes, sir. But that Muslim can turn around and be your worst enemy. That's right. If you was an enemy to the Muslims. Yes, sir. Praise Praise to Allah. Allah. That's just the fit. It ain't the cream puff stuff. Mm -hmm. It's the messenger. Yes. Fight with those who fight with you. Yes. All of those yes, who fight with you. That's right. That was the message. So the core and all the civil rights leaders, they was fighting with the messenger because they wouldn't accept this program. Mm -hmm. That's fighting with the messenger. Mm -hmm. yes. Messenger telling you I'm the messenger of Allah. God came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad in 1930. He taught me for three and a half years. I got the best program than anybody got. You see him working and you don't believe that. Now you fighting against me now. Because yes, I'm the messenger. Right. God came for all 50 million of us. Yeah. The messenger said Allah will hold me responsible for you not getting the truth. That's right. So if you got another leader teaching something else, the messenger got a bang on them. Mm. He the messenger. Right. He got to show everybody this stuff he talking about ain't nothing. Right. So it ain't the cream puff stuff. Mm -hmm. It's the messenger of our lost stuff. That's, right. That's what we supposed to be telling the black man. Yes, Elijah Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. That's right. Because Muhammad Ali, when Malcolm turned hypocrite, and that's why I like reading old stuff. They got Malcolm on or Muhammad Ali on the documentary when he was interviewed he said anybody who even threatens the messenger will see death even a threat you couldn't even and he said it he wasn't saying it like he was trying to be tough he was just talking because you know how joking muhammad ali was but he was serious then he said anybody who even threatens the messenger will see death straight up like that's how muslims used to be it wasn't cream puff it was whatever the messenger said, that's what how it's going. Yes, he the messenger. Right. You can't disrespect him. You can't try to turn black people against him. Because if you do, then we fighting with you. Yes, fighting means anybody who speaks against Allah, his messenger or his messages. Right. That means what he teach. Yes, anybody speaking against Islam, Muslims supposed to be fighting them. But the messengers say we're going to learn the hard way. Mm -hmm. We like to be soft. Yeah. So not today these little cream puff black leaders. These cream puff black groups mm -hmm. can taunt Muslims. You ain't never seen that before. That's right. That's these little cream puffs who ain't never bust nothing. Right, taunting Muslims. Mm -hmm. Got signs talking about Islam garbage. Mm -hmm. Got signs with our savior picture on and don't no Muslim do nothing. That's cream puff. Yes, sir. Nation of Islam. I see Lewis. This brother got grand master martial artists in his thing. These brothers can come here when Aretha Franklin died. They selling out arenas. Can't none of these cream puffs sell out no arena. None of them. That's because the messenger's teachers have always attracted the black man. Even as much as Lewiston watered it down, added Scientology to it, talking about he loved the devil, the little bit of the messenger that he put in can still attract enough black people to fill up four feet. Right. He got grand master martial arts, but a cream puff spook worshiper can talk about the messenger and you don't do nothing. Don't say nothing. Don't even get angry. 
But when this brother got banned from Facebook, that was supposed to be a big event. They banned him from Facebook. But a cream puff can have a picture of Master Farad Muhammad. You got all these grand master brothers. Won't do nothing. Wasn't like that with the messenger. No, wasn't like that with the messenger. Go read the history. Go read the history. Messenger wasn't playing with you. Especially when it came to Matt. He wasn't playing with Muslims. When it came. I done read one time. The messenger was talking to some brothers about Master Farad Muhammad. And how they was teaching about him. He told them, I met God. You ain't never met God. You say what I tell you to say. That's right. That's right. So he was. That's you right. couldn't even teach Master Farah Muhammad any old. You had to say what the messenger said about him. That's right. yes, you sir. couldn't have no picture of him that the messenger didn't authorize you to have right. about Master Farah Muhammad. That was the messenger. Yes, sir. So the messenger had Kor offered the messenger or a Muslim to come speak at their national convention. It says a black Muslim minister will address the Congress of Racial Equality National Convention this weekend. The minister, Lonnie Shabazz, head of Muhammad's Mosque Number no. 4 in Washington, will discuss Negro self-identification according to the core sources. It says Walter X. Brooks, project director of CORE, said his integrationalist group wanted to hear from the entire, uh, entire spectrum of people, including the rigid segregationist Muslim sect. It says he said the appearance of Mr. Shabazz would mark the second time a black Muslim addressed, it, addressed CORE, CORE's national convention. In 1965, Mr. Brooks recalled Kenneth X, a Durham, North Carolina black Muslim, took part in a panel discussion at CORE's National Convention in North Carolina City. So we see they saying that this will be the second time a Muslim came to speak at their national convention. The second time. It didn't have to be Malcolm. They had a brother named Kenneth X who we never heard this brother name before in our life. But he's speaking at CORE's National Convention. Because all the representatives of the messenger was the same. They represent the messenger. Right. The messenger got representatives in Ohio, in North Carolina, in Georgia, in Mississippi, in Atlanta, all over the country. A representative of the messenger was just telling you what the messenger told him to tell you. That's right. all he was doing. Because when Dr. Lonnie Shabazz, this is a picture of him in the Muhammad Speaks, holding up the newspaper that he came to speak to them on. It was this newspaper. The messenger wrote a whole newspaper article for them people at court. Yes, sir. It was called Plans of Muhammad. Yes, sir. He had Lonnie Shabazz. And to show you how brothers were saying what the messenger... Lonnie Shabazz had a Ph.D. Mm -hmm. in Max. Yes, <laughs> if anybody could talk some talk, he could talk some talk. That's right. yes, sir. But he's still holding up the Muhammad Speaks newspaper article that the messenger wrote. Right. Yes, sir. This is the history that they don't like to talk about the messenger. Because the messenger had ministers well qualified to browbeat you to death. Yes, sir. Well qualified. A brother from the prison could beat you. A brother from the way the PhD in mathematics can anybody could beat you. That's how the messenger wrote. But they don't talk about the messenger. They make it seem like this hypocrite Malcolm Little was the best minister the messenger had. The messenger had brothers teaching, and I ain't had time to bring all of this. Brothers used to teach in college universities on Yaku. That's something that we probably wouldn't even believe in this new school cream puff stuff. Mm -hmm. They had James, James uh, Yusuf Shah, temple number two, went to uh, Illinois University teaching on Yakub and the white man in the caves and hillsides of Europe and had an audience. Yes, I ain't talking about have folk, have an audience teaching on Yakub. Yes, Sister uh, Anna Kareem 
She used to do uh, Islam in Tuskegee. Mm -hmm. Michigan State requested her to come teach on this black woman in, uh, in Lance. Mm -hmm. Facts. Mm -hmm. Sister teach. Sister teaching the sisters about what the messenger taught. Yes, sir. We wouldn't even believe that in the cream puff stuff. Right. After Malcolm. Mm -hmm. Because all these black groups that was requesting the messenger to come. This was after Malcolm had been killed already. Mm -hmm. Wasn't nobody thinking about him. Like they try to make us think people was thinking about him. Yeah. They were still requesting the messenger. Yeah. Tuskegee used to, University requested the messenger in 1965. Months after Malcolm was assassinated. Mm -hmm. Nobody cared about this hypocrite like they make you think. Right. Because if people really cared, they don't make no... Uh, movies about the messenger at all. Look how many people love the messenger. They ain't gotta make a movie about the messenger. We gonna love them anyway. We do to love. We find out little bits and pieces of the messenger and put it together ourselves right. to find out who is this man called Elijah Muhammad. Yes, sir. But this hypocrite Malcolm, look, how many movies they gonna make about this hypocrite? Right. How many Netflix movies you gonna make about the same hypocrite? Right. You must be lying. Mm -hmm. It must be something you wanna believe us to believe about this hypocrite that ain't true. Mm -hmm. Because in movies, they can't make a movie about all truth. They gotta add some lies. Mm -hmm. You can't make a movie about all truth. You gotta add some lies. Mm -hmm. So they keep making all these movies about this hypocrite. Because they want us to praise a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. They want to turn us away from God's message. Yes, sir, that's right. But the documented history shows Muhammad was the winner. Mm -hmm. That's why I like reading the history. Mm -hmm. Them brothers crushed Malcolm. Mm -hmm. They crushed him. Yes, sir. Because when you look at the history, the messenger wasn't even saying nothing to Malcolm at first. He said when once they leave out, I don't go behind them. I got too many in front of me. That's right. Yes, because right. people was asking him, what about Malcolm? And he wasn't saying nothing about him. Right. It's like, I don't even, they go out, I talk Malcolm. He know. Right. Let him do what he want to do. Right. He wasn't saying, but it was Malcolm. Malcolm came, I, I listened to this stuff Malcolm used to say. He came to Chicago one time. On the red, mud washed, like he didn't know how the messenger got down. That's the thing about Malcolm that I don't understand. He knew exactly how to message. He knew about the army and everything, but he still would come to Chicago to mud watch the message. So the messenger began to get tired of Malcolm. He got sick of hearing him on the radio in his cities where he got Muslims talking against him. Because if Malcolm would have just left and started to owe the messenger, would have never bothered him. Who cares? They probably would have wrote some articles that he was he a hypocrite, but we ain't bothering him. Mm -hmm. But when he mud washing the message, making you think the messenger of God is some immoral man, he need his head bust. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's what, what's wrong with that? Yes, he need his head bust. Mm -hmm. The messenger is the only salvation that the black man ever gonna see. Yes. This is what he said. Yes, sir. The only salvation. So you got a person who going to come on the radio because when you start listening to or reading the articles about the Muslims, when the messengers start getting fired up, they would have 15 FOI sometime. And you can read the article that would catch two people from Malcolm's thing and they will form corridors around them. Have FOI in the center beating on. Police would come. Brothers would just sometimes straight like this ain't got Nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. Then the police will wait. Brothers get done beating on them there, take them and throw them somewhere. That's when the ambulance and the police will help them. Yes, it wasn't the cream puff stuff. Right. It wasn't the brother mouth. And I like saying it because it happened. Yes, right. yes, Pray do it to a lot. Yes, I like saying it because ain't none of them cream puff Muslims going to say nothing. Because yes, right. they know they lie. Yes, I can't wait for a cream puff Muslim. To say anything I'm saying is wrong. I got articles waiting to bring mm -hmm. for the cream puff nation of it. It's an article written by 
Sister Anna Kareem, that I can't wait. I want to bring that so bad. Sister Anna Kareem in 1971, what she said, it was a Muslim in 1971. It was a Muslim that was attacked in one of them little cities in Texas. Anna Kareem was in Chicago and she had a whole page article on this incident. So it was a week passed by. I'm going to paraphrase what she said. I'm not going to say everything she said. She said, it's been a week. This brother, she put his name in the paper. She put, when he got out of, uh, I think he got out on bail. She had the date and all that. She said, it's been a week. While we ain't heard in Chicago, this brother got his head bust. Think I'm lying, I can't wait to bring it in so we can read the whole thing, she said. Yes, sir. She said, it's been a week. Why we haven't heard his head then got bust? She said, them brothers is in uh, Texas because she grouped all the brothers in Texas. She talked about the brothers in Houston, the brothers in San Antonio, all of them. She said, why didn't y'all go help this brother? Yes, sir. She said, he was a minister for the message. She was like, you don't attack Muslims. She said, this savage brother should get his head bust. Yes. She said, I wouldn't want to be married to none of them coward brothers in Texas. Yes, That's right. That's That's what she said. She said, the sisterhood ain't safe in Texas. She said, the messenger said that if he go to Texas, he ain't even going to tell them coward brothers. He said, he going to depend only on Allah. Don't tell me nothing about this cream puff stuff. Yes. Because it's going to be some Muslims who going to believe in the message. Yes. The message said the nation will take a fall, mm -hmm. but it will rise to never fall again. Mm -hmm. That's right. So the cream puff stuff ain't going to last forever. Mm -hmm. All we got to do is keep telling people about Elijah Muhammad. That's right. Keep encouraging them. Go read them old Muhammad speech yes. newspapers. Go read them papers the devil got. Yes. So you can see what a Muslim really is. Yes, sir. Because this cream puff stuff ain't it. That's right, brother. Yes, sir. We don't have nothing to explain to a lost found about the messenger. Mm -hmm. The messenger already addressed it. The messenger said he didn't have nothing to do with them women. He told he wrote one article about it. And that's what I like about the messenger too. He didn't spend no whole lot of time talking about what Malcolm was saying to him about these women. When you would listen to the messenger, he would tell him what Allah was going to do to him. Mm -hmm. Say, Allah chose me. Yes, sir. I'm the messenger of Allah. Mm -hmm. He would show Malcolm in the Holy Quran how the messenger was successful of all the hypocrites. Yes. He would show him about core. He would show him about all the hypocrites in the Bible. He would say Malcolm's fate will be the exact same thing as that. That's right. He ain't never heard. He, I read one article where the messenger was talking about them little girls. Mm -hmm. He was like, them was Malcolm's girlfriends before he married Betty. He That's all he said about yes. that. But every other thing, he like, God chose me. Yes. So that's one thing you can't take away from me. Right. And I will be the winner. That's right. Do to Allah. He ain't waste no time trying to explain nothing to them. No. And he used to tell them lost found brothers. They used to act like you want to help. He said, black brother, be careful. Be careful. It's always what he would say when them, black brother, be careful. I didn't come here to destroy my people. Mm -hmm. He said, I come here to save my people. Yes. Let you know I can turn it up any kind of way you want to turn it up. Mm -hmm. But be careful. Yes, so on you. The message used to say, Allah, you won't hurt a hair on my head. Mm -hmm. That's what he used to tell the black man. Them people who bombed the temple. The messenger was talking about the police. He said, the police in New York, this your responsibility to protect our meeting place. That's your job as a policeman. Mm -hmm. But he said, if you won't do it, we will. Right. He said, this brother got the nerve to be all on the radio. He said, when we find you, he ain't say if. He ain't say we hope. He said, when we find you. Yes, sir. 
He said, we will entertain you. Right. He said, it'll be an entertainment that you will never forget. That's right. yes, that sir. was the message. That's right. yes, Pray to Allah. Right. Yes, Wasn't none of this cream puff stuff That's with him. Right. Yes, you think he was a cream puff? Go read the history. Yes, sir. Send the cream puff stuff in until Muhammad speaks. Mm -hmm. Any of you cream puff Muslims. Brother Black I wouldn't want to be in a temple with no grandmaster and these spook worshippers can talk about the messenger he ain't trying to do nothing. I'm glad we small. At least we can say it. We did have some brothers. Right. Yes, but to have brothers be in the temple, I'm in the temple, I'm the minister, I got a captain. I got lieutenants. I got brothers doing martial arts. And these spook worshippers can have a picture of Master Farai Maha. And we don't say nothing. I don't want to be around them kind of brothers. I want to be around the kind of brothers you don't even have to say nothing to. Why right, right. right. well, I got to tell you, you believe like I believe. Right. You saw like I saw. Right. You should feel like I feel. That's, right. That's how the kind of temple I want to be in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ride past and see like I know some man. I ain't even worried about that. Mm -hmm. Worried about it. The brother's gone. Hell. That's the guy. I don't want to be with the cream puff stuff. Mm -hmm. Looking at the brother like, did you see that? <laughs> you ain't see these brothers doing that? That ain't the kind of temple I want to be in. Mm -hmm. That ain't the kind of temple the messenger had. No, sir. The messenger said, fight all of those That's right. who fight with you. Yes, sir. The messenger even was talking about relieving coward ministers. He didn't like cowards. Mm -hmm. He said, my teachers is not for the cowards. That's exactly what, he said. what he said, he ain't like all that coward stuff. I read one time about Islam. The messenger said that Allah forbids us to teach Islam in a sympathetic kind of way. See, it forbid, if he tell us the white man the devil, we're supposed to tell the black man with a surety, the white man is the devil. Yes, sir. We ain't supposed to be trying to apologize. To let the well, it might be some good ones. No, the whole white race yes. is a race of death. That's right. yes, sir. Praise due to Allah. God came to destroy the whole white race right. with fire. Yes, sir. The messenger said he came to burn them alive yes. with fire. Yes. You can't be no coward type, cream puff type, mm -hmm. to be talking like that. You got to believe it. And that's what the messenger said to all the ministers. He said, if you don't believe, I can't use you. That's right. You have to believe it yourself. Yes, sir. That's what separates the cream puff stuff from a belief. Yes. Just like with your mother. If anybody says something against your mama, it's going to make you mad. Somebody shouldn't have to tell you, did you hear what he said about? That's your mother. That's your child. If you see somebody doing something to your child and somebody got to tell you, did you see what he did? What kind of love is that? That's right. What kind of belief is that? If you got all way tell, brothers, like, did you see? Well, brothers and sisters, we don't want to prolong the time. So I'll leave you as I came in the nation of Islam. Greeting words of peace of Asalaamu Alaikum. Enjoying the show? Help keep us on the air. 313-371-7033. That's 313-371-7033 to make a donation. Brothers and sisters, we rise for prayer. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the beneficent, the merciful. So, Master's Day of Judgment in which we now live, the alone do we serve, and the alone seek for thine help and aid. O oh Allah, please guide us on the right path, path of those upon whom thou wilt spill thy favors, not on the path of those upon whom thy wrath is brought down, nor those who go astray if they heard thy teachings. Say he, Allah is one God, Allah is he of whom nothing is independent, but upon whom we all depend. He beget us not, nor is he begotten, there is none like him. And I bear witness, the nuns are to be served, worship the praise besides Allah, who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad. And I bear witness that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad is thy true servant and last apostle. I mean, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us not to do anything to anyone that we wouldn't have done it to ourselves and treat everybody right. 
even the devil. Assalamu alaikum.